All right. Good morning, Revs. Um, long day yesterday. Um, are you happy with the business that was done? Yeah, we're um, we're really happy with with our January. Um, I think that the biggest uh, aim for January was to obviously improve us as a squad. Um, I think that was important. It wasn't about numbers. It was about improving us as a squad. I think that obviously we lost uh, three boys at the start of January. You know, they went out on loan. Um, and we replaced them with with real quality. Uh, and then, obviously, the last day, I think, you know, they, they, these deals have been ongoing for, for all of January, really, and it was just, for some reason, they just seemed to take it till the last minute to go through. But um, we're delighted with the two boys that, that came in yesterday. Um, you know, like I said in the interview, when we signed them, that they're, they're both going to have real quality, um, a youthfulness, uh, an energy, a... Uh, you know, and, and, and a freshness to the, to the group because ultimately there's 22 games left. Um, and, you know, that's in three months. There's a lot of games to play. Um, and it's, it's so important that we have fresh, a, a good group of players that can go into each game feeling ready for the game. And um, no, no club has ever had this period of games. So it's really important for us. And, um, you know, we're, we're delighted with our business and, People behind the scenes work really hard, so it's a, it's a collective. It's, it's been a really good January. Yeah, you spoke quite a bit at the start of the season about wanting a smaller squad, but I suppose circumstances have changed, and with the postponements and COVID, it means that we need to be ready to adapt, doesn't it? Yeah, listen, I think that what's important is that you have a squad that are all together, um, and that I think what's important is that all players know they're going to play. I think when it when it doesn't happen like that and players don't see they're going to play, it can become a problem. But this year, we've never, ever experienced this run of games. You know, we've got a free week next week. And then apart from that, it's Saturday, Tuesday, really, for the, until the end of the season. So all these players know that they're going to, they're going to be playing. There's going to be time to play. Um, obviously, as a football club, you know, with, with the COVID, with injuries... Um, and just just fatigue. We've just got you know we've got a lot of players that have played a lot of games, and especially the younger ones that you know they've played a lot of games. So they don't know how their body feels. So it's really important for us to make sure everyone's fresh. Everybody knows they're they're going to play. You know, five subs has made a huge difference. That you can you know bring on four players in a game at once, or you know, and, and then you can you can use five players every game. It does make a difference to the squad because there are players now believing they're going to play. So. That's a positive, but ultimately we need to bring in players that make us one better, and two, like I said, give us freshness for for the for the you know for the remaining games. We won't get to see the new boys tonight when we take on Exeter, but um, what are you most looking forward to about the game this evening? Um, I'm looking forward to to seeing the confidence and the belief grow again of everyone. Um, you know, I think that Saturday was a was a one of those moments that you look back and you know that it, it was all about the win. We know, like I said, the performance we wanted to be better, but it was all about the win and the the, the group and, and and the celebration of the players that were on the sideline. That shows how together we are um, as a group. So it, I'm looking forward to. I, I just I just really enjoy working with the with the players every day, as do all the staff, and you know we, we're seeing real progress in, in, in the players, you know, and what they're trying to do. And um, every game we've, you know, like I said, we've been three, three wins, three draws and one loss in the last seven games. So we need to make sure that we make that four wins. Um, and we'll be, like I said, the players are working extremely hard to make sure that, that every game we go in and, and, and we win. That's what we're trying to do. And against an opponent that we know really well, considering we only played them a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, we were disappointed, obviously, with the result. And Exeter, but um, now we have to make sure that we 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 put that right. I felt during the game, obviously, it was tough. I, it was a game I watched from home, so it was it was tough. But I actually generally felt in that game that we controlled the game really well, and um, we limited the team that's obviously the highest expected goals and you know goals scored in the league to three or four chances in the game. And and but when they have real quality, they you know they they, they go in and. That was a disappointment, I think, from our point of view. But um, we'll be, we know, you know, their qualities. Manager's a fantastic person. We know that, you know, what he's done there. So we know we've got to be on our game tonight, 100%, to take anything from the game. And, and everyone's ready. 
everyone's really excited again for another game, obviously after the energy from Saturday. Um, so we'll, we'll be giving everything to make sure we, we get a top result tonight.